Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and web designer TechTips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap Basics theme here. We just built this little Bootstrap site with a little slider here. What we're going to do today is we're going to add a section and a div and we're going to play with a bit of margin and a bit of padding. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my text editor. We're using Brackets Text Editor today. It's a free text editor and you can download it from a link below this video. Like I say, it's absolutely free. It's got some great features. But if you've already got a text editor, that'll do absolutely fine. You can follow along with that. So, okay, here's the end of our section that contains our slider here. And underneath, we just got this crazy little blue section with the word hello world in there. Well, I'm going to get rid of that. So we'll get rid of this section. Let's go to our text editor. There's that little bit of text right there. I'm just going to select that and delete it. Now you will notice also that our background here is blue. I'm going to get rid of that. We just did that to demonstrate a bit of CSS last time. So if we go to our custom CSS, right at the top we're going to see where we put in that body background blue that was just for a demo so I'm actually going to just delete that that's fine control s to save back to our index.html now I'm going to create a new section so I'm going to write section close it out and it automatically puts the end closing tag on there for me move that across okay what I'm going to do is add a bit of style here usually I wouldn't do this in line or on page here but I'm going to do this just purely for demonstration our section I'm going to give it some style and I'll say style equals open some inverted commas this is like doing a style sheet like our external style sheet but we're just doing it on the page here and like I said I usually don't do this but I'm just doing it for a demo here Okay, so we're going to say section style. Let's give it a background color of red. Semicolon. Let's give it a minimum height of say 300 pixels. So we've got a bit of depth to it. Min dash height. And we'll say 300 pixels or whatever. Okay could give it some padding I don't really need to give it any padding just yet let's just save it as that I'll put a semicolon after it in case we want to add some more text and let's just I'm going to put a little paragraph of text in there I'm going to just steal a paragraph from a slider right here In fact, I won't put that in yet. I'm going to put that inside a div. So let's just save this, Control S, and have a look what we've got here. Now, if I refresh, that blue should go away and it should probably turn red. There we go. Now, if we go down, that writing's no longer there because we got rid of it. And we've got a section, which is the whole width of the screen. And it's colored red and it's got a minimum height of 300 so if we put stuff in there it can get bigger but it can't go any smaller than 300 with the minimum height so that's a section right there like I say it's full width now inside there let's put a bit of content I'll put a div and I'll show you the difference between a div regular div and a div with a class of container so if we go back to our bracket software And here's our section. In between the two section tags, I'm going to create a div. So open, div, close. Now, I'll give this a bit of style as well. Let's make this yellow. I guess that'll stand out. So I'm going to say div. In fact, I'm going to copy all of this stuff right here. But I'm just going to change the background color to yellow. Okay, let's just save that and back to our site. Now on our refresh, we should have a yellow div. 
there we go the first thing you're going to notice is that it stretches the whole of the width of our section and it's basically covered up our section because it's 300 as well um, so why have a section and, and not just have a div well you can just have a div but what I'll do is now I'm now going to add a little bit of padding top and bottom to the actual section and show you the reasons why okay so here's our section I'm just going to add padding top say 50 pixels and also padding bottom of 50 pixels okay save that control s back to our site now when I refresh you should see a red border of 50 pixels top and bottom here there we go and there's the bottom kind of looking a little like the Spanish flag okay so we've added a bit of padding top and bottom so you can have your section background one color and your div background another color if you want to okay the next thing that we actually want to do is instead I'm just going to do a quick demo now instead of having this full width this div we can put it in what's called a container and that'll box it so it'll have a margin auto of each side I'll just go ahead and do it and I'll explain it It'll probably be easier for you to see so here's our div the yellow one I'm now going to give it a class equals inverted comma inverted comma again and a gap and in between the two inverted commas we'll say container save again back to the site now we're on our fresh watch refresh watch what happens bunk so there's our container and this is what you call a box section and a, or a box container here because it doesn't stretch full screen but it does do the whole width of what will be the sort of text area or where you put your content this is your content area and this is just sort of spare stuff to the sides if you want a full width div then obviously don't make it into a container but for most purposes you're going to want to contain it and put your text or what have you in there so again um, you can see that we can have one color for that and one color for this or whatever different values this is why we have a section and a div within it okay to demonstrate a bit of negative margin what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this section so we've got two of them control C drop down I'll paste this new section just underneath it here and let's change this color so to blue and we'll change this one to red Control S. so we should have now two sections that size wise are similar but they'll have different colors let's just refresh this there we are okay let's use a bit of margin that's kind of funny on the eyes let's use a bit of margin to pull this div up so it's halfway across this other one here actually I'm gonna make that green let's make that green because once it goes on the red you're not gonna be able to see it again there we go so what we're gonna do we're gonna affect the top of here the margin on the top and we'll give it a negative value we know that's 50 picks and that's 50 picks because that's what we gave it padding wise so if we give it a negative value of say 200 it should be a hundred picks up here now you can do this with margin but you can't do it with padding so let's try it here it is here's our green one and we'll give it margin top colon negative what I say 200 pixels 
and a semicolon just in case we want to add some more. Control S to save. Back to the site. Refresh. When we refresh, this green one should jump up here. There we are. You see the green one's jumped up, so it's halfway between the two columns. This is how you can move content around, and a lot of sites use it for making things look a, a little more interesting. Of course, you can use negative left or negative right. So there you have it. There's a brief explanation about sections, divs, containers, and margins. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Day.